Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Medical Assistant with Ms. K. My name is Kendra. I'm a medical assistant instructor. Today I'm going to be doing pediatric dosage calculations. Now, I recently did a video on basic calculations, adult calculations, and you want to make sure you watch that video first or at least know adult calculations before you try to do pediatric calculations because these steps are going to take us right back to, to those steps that we learned in that video, okay? So you definitely want to start there. I'll link it either here in the video or down below in the description box. So in that video, I did mention that there's more to the metric table, but this is what we want to focus on for the problems that we're going to do. Um, so you want to make sure you at least know how to convert, you know, your micrograms to milligrams and grams and your milliliters to liters, right? And then your pound and kilogram calculations, okay? Especially when you're doing pediatric. Why? Because with pediatrics, with their doses, we have to always convert pounds to kilograms if the weight is not already in kilograms, okay? So the first step is always gonna to be to convert pounds to kilograms. Now let's look at this problem. A pediatric patient is 22 pounds. The provider orders 20 milligrams per kilogram per day of medication. The medication label reads 200 milligrams um, per five milliliters. What is the dose? And uh, specifically in, in males okay in milliliters now make sure you write down the steps i'm not going to write down the steps i'm going to show them to you but i'm not going to write them out so make sure you write them down as we said the first step is converting pounds to kilograms and that's going to take us back here to convert 22 pounds to kilograms we got to divide by 2.2 okay so 22 divided by um 2.2 is going to give us what 10. so that's going to be 10 kilograms how do we know that? Because when we're converting pounds to kilograms, we got to divide by 2.2. So that's going to give us 10. So now the provider says for the order that for every kilogram that that patient weighs, he wants that patient to have 20 milligrams of that medication. So for every milligram within that, I'm sorry, so for every 10 kilograms within that 10 kilograms, he wants 20 milligrams, right? So what do we do? We have to multiply 20 times 10. We do 20 times 10, that gives us 200, all right? So now we have the dose that the doctor wants. The provider's order is gonna be 200 milligrams, okay? So that's what he wants every day. Now, when the problem says um, per day, you can always assume that it's just once, right? Because if you need it more than um, once, it'll say BID, TID, right, or QID. Um, but anytime you see daily or per day, if it doesn't specify anything more, you know that it's just once a day, right? So the provider wants that patient to have 200 milligrams a day, right? Now this is gonna take us back to that formula that we learned in the first video, which is what? The D over H times Q. That's our formula, right? So what's the D? That is what the doctor wants. We know now that it's 200 milligrams that the doctor wants, right? Divided by what we have on hand, that is the 200 milligrams, right? Per five ml. Now. For every five ml of this medication, there are 200 milligrams, right? So that's this five is the quantity, right? So B over H times Q is the quantity. So, and we did talk about it in the other video, we could just cancel that out. And that just leaves us with five ml. So in liquid form, the 20 milligrams per kilograms per day that the doctor wants, that leaves us with five ml. How? Because, again, let's go back through it. First of all, we convert it to 10 kilograms, right? For every kilogram, the doctor wanted 20 milligrams. So that 20 milligrams per um, 10 kilograms, that gave us 200. That is a daily dose that the doctor wants, 200. We have it in liquid form. So we then we had to do our um, formula, right? V over H times Q, right? The, what the doctor ordered divided by what we have on hand times the quantity gave us five ml, so five ml, right? Now, let's just say the provider says that he wants that given in two doses, right? If he wants this given in two doses, that's just gonna give us, we're gonna have a couple different ways we can do it. We can do it like this and just divide um, that five ml by uh, two, because he wants to, let's say if he ordered like BID, right? We could easily just divide that by two and give us, you know, 2.5 ml. That's an easy way to do it. So, you know, twice a day the patient will take 
two five two point five ml twice a day versus just the you know the five ml once a day and however he takes it it's still giving that uh doctor it's still giving that patient the 200 milligrams uh daily but if the doctor let's just say the doctor doesn't want him to take that 200 milligrams you know all at one time he may say take it in two doses twice a day right taking the two equal doses twice a day in that case we would have to divide that five and male by 2.5 right so that's one way to do it another way would have been to just giving you guys a couple different steps it's going to give you the same answer but just giving you guys a couple different steps another way to do it could have been once we got that 200 milligram and the doctor we know the doctor wants it in two equal doses right a day then we could have divided it by two at that point right to give us 100 milligrams so we know the doctor wants 100 milligrams twice a day again that's going to take us to our formula it always comes back to the formula that's why you got to watch that video so this is what the doctor wants right over what we have on hand times the quantity now this will give us 100 divided by 200 will give us what 0.5 times 5 ml right and that's going to give us 2.5 ml so either way it's going to give us every day 200 milligrams a day but how he takes it just depends so hopefully that this was helpful the same thing that I did today is the same thing you're going to do. You're just going to plug in whatever numbers they give you. So whether this is 40 milligrams per kilograms a day or 50 or whatever, whether this is 400 milligrams per five milliliter or whatever, you just plug in your numbers. Just remember, if it says per day and nothing else, that just means that's what they want the patient to take every day, right, in that one single dose. If it says BID, they want it in two doses, right? TID, three doses, QID, four doses, right? So that's, of course, gonna take you back to knowing your abbreviations when it comes to your um, prescriptions, right, and your orders. So, hope that this was helpful. As I mentioned in the other video, I am gonna do a, another video that goes more into detail with all the conversions that you're gonna need to know for your exams, whether you're taking the CMA, CCMA, RMA, whatever, is foundational okay um, I'm gonna just go into all of the formulas in that one so let me know if you have any questions about this let me know if this was helpful um, make sure you join my Facebook group if you haven't already it's called the medical assistant lounge also I have some medical assistant t-shirts on my website at www.shopwithmisk.com that's m-i-z-z-k.com so I'll leave that down below as well and somewhere on this video so be blessed